Hello and welcome back to part 2 of the quick overview video. In the previous video, I showed you a way to quickly set up your own assets for animation and in this video, I'll show you how you can get started doing the actual animation. For this video, I'll be using the finished spine boy example, so let's get started. The first thing I'll do here is I'll go to the main menu here and open projects, open the spine boy project and open as you can already see, we have a lot more bones in this one than we had in the previous video. And if we expand the spine boy example, or the skeleton here, you can see all the bones we have and all the images attached to them. Just going to minimize this again and go to the animations node here. And we already have two animations on, on uh, this skeleton. So I go to animate mode and just going to zoom out a little here. Then enable looping down here and press play. You can also hit D on the keyboard and it will play it forward. If I click this small dot here on the tree, we can switch between the different animations that I have. We will be creating a completely new animation from scratch here, although it will be a relatively rough uh, animation. It will not be a, a complete animation. I'll just be showing the workflow. So, let me stop this. To do that, just click New Animation with the Animation node selected, and we'll name this one Temp. So, as you can see, we now no longer have any keys down here in the timeline, and we can get started creating our own animation. So, the way I like to do things is I first do all my major poses, and then once they're done and I have the timing that I want, I will do uh, the intermediate poses. So I'm just going to get started and I will first go and set the pose I want for the first frame, which is frame zero. So just going to quickly be uh, moving things into place and I'm using C and V on the keyboard to switch between rotation and translation. You can also right click to switch between the um, transforms that you had active. So let me just get these bones into place and here I'm going to select both bones at the same time and rotate them. They will then rotate additively. And with that done, I kind of like this pose here. I'm going to select all the bones except for the root bone and I will then key translation rotation. I'm not going to be using scaling here so I'm just going to hit these and now we have the key set. If I expand the dope sheet you can see there are now keys for all the, uh, the bones. Then with that done select the keys, copy them, paste them on frame 20 then I go to frame 10 and I then start doing it the opposite way here. And just like before, it's gonna be it's gonna be relatively uh, uh, rough animation. I'll rotate the arms here. Just move it slightly. And hit K this time to key everything that I've been changed. And then deselect everything. As you can now see by hitting K, it's only keyed the, the things that I've actually changed and actually want to have all the bones keyed. So just like before, select all the bones and now have the key set. You can see some of them have lines between them. This means there's actually a value change between these keys. The other ones are uh, have the same value so this means that these these keys are actually wasted uh, but I like to go and clean this up in the end and not do it uh, yet. So go back to the first frame need to lower the hip slightly so he's actually on the ground. Hit K, select this key and paste it at the last frame. Here we also need to have on the ground 
and this is just slightly this stride was a little too long so that's a little better and now as you can see we got some changing going on here so the next thing I'll do is I will insert some poses in between these and I'll start here at frame 5 but I do not want to have the uh, tweening shown so I'll switch to step mode and this means that there's no tweening going on and it will only change the value as I hit a new key. I'll go to frame 5 like I said and I will set the values that I want here so I'm just gonna have it's like he's having uh, he's, he'll be at his highest point here and uh, once again just pretty rough animation nothing crazy and just rotate the torso as well and rotate the head and then hit K and now if I turn off step mode again you can see he's now getting a, just a few more things going on now. His leg is a little too stiff, but to the, it's animation is a question of going in and refining your animations over and over again until you have something you're happy with. I'm just going to go to frame 15, turn off step mode, oh sorry, on, and then do the same thing that I just did for the other legs. Move the hip up and rotate the torso, rotate the head, also get rid of this small gap that I have going on here, and hit K. So now with step mode on you can see this walk cycle or very rough walk cycle that we've created in just a couple of minutes. Now let's say that I had a final animation or that I had all the keys set that I wanted. I'll then go in and change the way or the uh, the way uh, the, the speed of the tweens. So for example the hip here um, it moves down just a little too quick here uh, between uh, frame 5 and 10 so I'm just gonna select this key open up the graph and change this to easier. And the way this works is currently it will be moving slow in the start and speeding up and then slow in the end. What, what I want to happen is I want it to move slow in the end and a little faster in the sorry slow in the start and a little faster in the end. So I'm gonna change this, I'll have, grab these handles and move them around. And now I have something that I like a little more and I'll do the same thing for the keys between frame 15 and uh, instead of having to do it again I'm just gonna select both keys and with match on I can just hit these handles and it will update and now I have both keys using Bezier and I have something that I like uh, a little better so as you can see, I've uh, opened up a different project here, and this is something I've been working on for a short while. And I wanted to show you this because there's another way you can also do your animations. And if I just slowly scrub through these uh, this timeline here, you can see if you notice on the foot here that the images are actually changing, and this happens on both feet. And the way this is done is if I just select the bone here and expand the left foot and then expand the slot you can see there are multiple images on this slot and up here you can see there's a dot and the to, to key to make a change to this for example if at uh, let's just go to a different frame let's say at, at frame 4 here I want to change the image of, of the foot let me just zoom in on that little to uh, another one. I'll just 
select the visibility on that and then click the dot here and now a cube will pop up down here and it will actually change that image so let me just delete this again and then play it back for you and this gives a slightly more life to your animations now the project that covers this topic is the dragon project and I'll just open that up shortly and show you what I am talking about here so going to animate mode I'm just gonna scrub the timeline a bit as you can see the images on the wings are changing and if I'm just if I just select one of them you can see there are quite a lot of images and if you notice the dot here it will be changing to give you uh, the animation of the wings. There's still a couple of things that I haven't covered in this quick overview video, but if you have any questions, you're more than welcome to register on our forum and ask away there. My name is Sonny Nilsson, and I hope you found this video educational and that you can now use what you've learned to create your own animations. I hope to see you around for more videos in the future. Bye for now.